Hi guys, we're talking about what we do with Secret today, formerly a lab on fire. Are you familiar with this house? They're known for a fragrance called Messy Sexy Just Rolled Out of Bed. This one right here. But we are talking about their two latest fragrances created by David Appel, Freckled and Beautiful. And then also Je Men Fu, this one right here. After the outro, I'm going to talk to you about two additional classic fragrances that I've spoken about on the channel before. What we do is Secret in Paris, and then we also have Paris LA. So we have a giveaway as well. We're doing two bottles giveaway to USA subscribers, thanks to the brand in the USA. It's uh, two bottles of Je Men Fu to subscribers of this channel. So if you're curious to learn about this house, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about what we do with Secret. Are you familiar with this house? Remember, I said they used to be called the Lab on Fire. I've spoken quite a bit about what we do with Secret in Paris. In fact, I have a full review of it, a review of it on the channel. And I've actually spoken quite a bit about Paris LA as well. I'll talk about those two after the outro in case you want to hear more about the fragrances. They now do come in bottles like this. But today we're starting off with Freckled and Beautiful. And of course, Je Men Fu. These are the two latest fragrances from What We Do Is Secret. And Freckled and Beautiful and uh, Je Men Fu are created by David Appel. So if you don't know about this house, I like this house because I like their bottles. And I like the fact that they do have quite a bit of gourmand sweet fragrances. In fact, Messy Sexy Just Rolled Out of Bed, Freckled and Beautiful. And then the two fragrances after the outro are going to be kind of gourmand edge or even full-on gourmand. Je Men Fu, on the other hand, is a freshie, and I'll tell you all about it. But Freckled and Beautiful has the notes of pastry, warm milk, vanilla beans, heliotrope, orange flower, neroli, honeysuckle, salicylates, sandalwood. So I had to look up that note because I keep forgetting what it is. Amyl salicylate has a floral and sweet, herbaceous and balsamic character with a green undertone. It is extensively used in florals and can be an important ingredient for fougere accords. So this goes into the creation of Freckled and Beautiful. So with this fragrance, I like this idea of combining citrus floral and white floral notes with kind of gourmand notes. It's the idea of creating something like Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. I'm not saying this smells like that. It's kind of that idea with a more milky lactonic edge. So the pastry note has a bit of dough-like quality, kind of a gourmand, bready, patisserie-like effect here in this fragrance, along with that warm milk note or accord, and it gives me the lactonic creaminess that I want. There's vanilla beans here. Of course, it's vanillic. It's sweet. And then with the addition of the powdery heliotrope note, it throws in a little bit of an almondy edge to the fragrance. But what we have is also loads of orange flour flower or orange blossom and neroli which is basically the same flower just extracted differently on top of that the honeysuckle and it's a super delicious fragrance powdery lactonic sweet and then of course woody because it does dry down to the sandalwood and that salicylates notes does create this very interesting effect here giving you that kind of a greenish balsamic character but again, the idea is sort of similar to something like Love Don't Be Shy, where they're combining it with sweet notes along with the orange blossom neroli note. It's here, but in addition to these notes, there's a lot more things happening, of course. Honeysuckle, a beautiful floral smell, is also here. You'll definitely notice it. And then you've got the pastry note, the milk, the vanilla beans, and the heliotrope all coming in. The fragrance does wear creamy. Lactonic is definitely the effect we want here. Sandalwood, warm milk, gives you that creamy vibe. It's super delicious here with this one. Again, I really like this house quite a bit. And I've, you know, like I said, I've spoken quite a bit about those two fragrances, Paris LA and what we do in Paris is secret. Uh, so uh, this is uh, another great addition to this house's catalog of gourmand fragrances. So let's go ahead and quickly smell freckled and beautiful. Let me know if you've already gotten your nose on this house. Let me know if you're familiar with the fragrances of this house. Just to give you an idea of the box also. Okay, so... When you're first smelling this fragrance, the orange flower, neroli, honeysuckle comes right through. Those are more of the top notes, floral notes, 
sometimes in the heart. But for me, that's the effect I get right away. And, you know, it's got a lot of prominent, more gourmand notes. And at this time, I'm experiencing something to the effect of Love Don't Be Shy, the combination of the orange flower or neroli with sweet kind of gourmand vanillic notes. But this does get different. It does have different uh, qualities here. Of course, that salicylate note or the emyl salicylate note has that kind of herbaceous aromatic quality here. It does create a, a very interesting kind of a green uh, undertone effect and balsamic character with the fragrance. But this is really, really wonderful. I feel like on skin, it gets more gourmand. On the strip, it's definitely more prominent with the citrus floral notes and the honeysuckle, but quite gorgeous. I think this is definitely a fragrance you can wear in the, you know, the, the, the not necessarily like uh, summertime, but spring, autumn, and winter kind of months. Perhaps you can get away with it kind of a cooler evening in the summertime as well. But freckled and beautiful, really wonderful offering. It's a kind of a gourmand light, not necessarily uber gourmand, but on skin it does get more sweeter, of course, as it uh, kind of warms up with your body uh, temperature. All right, the next fragrance, also created by David Appel, is Jemin Fu, this one right here. So similar bottle, different writing, different color text on there, as you can see. So Jemin Fu features notes of mandarin, bergamot, neroli, crisp aldehydes, jasmine, lavender, salicylates, ambrette seeds, ambrox, and lentisk. So for me, this is mostly a very clean citrusy fragrance, also very fizzy and effervescent, and then of course musky when it's drying down with a little bit of an amber edge. So it's quite juicy with the mandarin orange and the bergamot, and then you also have the neroli in here. So it's a beautiful combination of citruses to begin with, not only the juicy citruses of the fruit but the flower of the bitter orange tree as well and here we get the crisp aldehydes that comes in it does add a crisp layer to the fragrance very clean cold and also also fizzy sparkling as well along the way you're, you'll experience aromatic floral notes and then the musky notes come in when it's drying down this to me seems a bit more simplistic and also a kind of a fragrance you would wear when it's quite warm outside i think this will really be perfect in the heat because it's the kind of fragrance it's very clean it's very fresh it's a bit soapy it's got the musky touches and then of course all the juicy citruses and the floral notes that are here as well smelling really Really, really wonderful but to me when I'm wearing it there's definitely a powdery effect and I've noticed that this house does do powdery like a lot of the fragrances I've worn from this house what we do a secret does come off powdery on skin for me which is not a bad thing it's kind of a DNA that goes through one fragrance to the other but to me I think they do some great work with their fragrances and they put a lot of thought and care into creating, uh, you know, these really great offerings with fragrances. So that is Jemin Fu. Remember, this is a fragrance that the brand is doing a two bottle giveaway to subscribers of the USA. Again, this is decided by the brand. They can't ship internationally, so they are shipping here to the USA. So let's go ahead and quickly smell Jemin Fu. I'm not that familiar with David Appel. I've seen his name come up here and there, but I think he's created two really uh, wonderful offerings for this house. Uh, and in the past, I've seen, you know, fragrances by Dominic Ropion and uh, perfumers like that for the different fragrances. So, Jemin Fu is really, really great. I've had somebody test this out here, a visitor to the studio as well, as they were looking for some citruses. They really fell in love with this particular fragrance. I like it because it also has green touches. And remember that salicylates note creates that effect with the balsamic touches as well. Well, this is really, really great. I think, like I said, summertime for Jemin Fu, it's going to be perfect. And even the fact that on the box they have Hollywood. And, you know, it does get warm in Hollywood or in the L.A. area. So that's the kind of fragrance you would wear to freshen up and things like that. It's a fantastic citrusy fragrance. And, again, it does have kind of touches of fragrances like the, the Eau de Colognes and things like that. But this, to me, again, is very powdery. At least on skin, for me, it wears powdery. 
and of course citrusy, floral, and then of course musky when it's drying down. And don't forget the am ambrox note or the, the ambrette seeds to create the muskiness, but the ambrox and the lentisque does create an ambery effect when it's drying down as well. So that's Jemen Fu. So the third fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is more of a classic from this house. And of course, I said I've got two more fragrances that are fragrances I've spoken about. This seems to be the most popular fragrance from this house. It's Messy Sexy Just Rolled Out of Bed, created by Dominic Gropion. Again, uh, one of my favorite perfumers. He's done a really great job with this one, and he's also done a great job with another fragrance I'm going to talk to you about. Super delicious, very powdery. This is uh, featuring notes of toffee, heliotrope, vanilla, tonka beans, musk, peach blossom, white woods, bergamot, amber, and rose. The name just basically, to me, refers to coziness and comforting. So going to sleep is a very cozy, comforting thing. It relaxes you and things like that. And the idea of this fragrance is just to be relaxed. And for me, the gourmand notes and all the notes that have gone into creating this fragrance just has a very comforting and relaxing, soothing vibe. So toffee, yes. Heliotrope, very powdery, a bit almondy. The vanilla is definitely prominent here. And then also Tonka comes in to create a nutty effect along with the toffee note in here. So peach blossom, some, you know, kind of a floral touch here, but not necessarily floral to the effect of tuberose or jasmine or gardenia. More of a very faint kind of um, fruity floral kind of an effect because it's from a, a fruit uh, tree, but a little more on the the actual flowers rather than the fruits. But along the way, you have, you know, very faint woodsy touches here, some citrusy touches. And of course, you'll pick up a little bit of rose, but not too much. In the end, it's a gourmand and very powdery, but also super, super cozy uh, fragrance. Definitely one of the best from this house. And I think uh, if you're looking for a very cozy fragrance, uh, definitely try Messy Sexy Just Rolled Out of Bed. Let's go ahead and quickly smell it, but want to show you the, the box for this one. Let me know if you've tried that one. That's definitely been around for a while and it's definitely a popular one from uh, this house. Yeah, definitely I'm picking up quite a bit of heliotrope in this fragrance. It's definitely very prominent and I like this note. It creates a powdery effect and if you like the idea of heliotrope but you don't like gourmands, this might be a bit more gourmand but I actually really love the effect heliotrope provides to fragrances just overly powders things up and does throw in that little bit of nuttiness to me it smells like almonds but faint more floral kind of almonds but overall su super delicious really really delicious very cozy very comforting soothing and relaxing this is the kind of fragrance you would wear to just you know relax sit in a chair and just you know watch tv or read a book listen to music it's that kind of fragrance, super d delicious. So that is Messy Sexy Just Rolled Out of Bed, created by Dominic Ropion. And those are the three fragrances I'm talking about from this house, what we do with Secret. And again, we have a giveaway, two bottles of Jemen Fu. So to participate in the giveaway, please put a comment down below and let me know what you liked about this video. And also please write down why you want to win a bottle of Jemen Fu. Please put down your state, this is a USA giveaway. If you have somebody that can collect your package, for you in the USA, please uh, participate. Otherwise, uh, I'm sorry, this is, like I said, only open to USA residents or if you can collect the package in the USA. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video on what we do with secret fragrances. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances, if you've tried them, if you've been curious to try them. I'd like to find out. And again, don't uh, forget to stick around after the outro for my thoughts on what we do with secret in Paris. No, what we do in Paris is secret. I'm getting confused. And then Paris, LA. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. All right. What we do in Paris is secret is one of the first fragrances I discovered from this house going back to 2014. Yes, I've been a fan of this fragrance for quite some time and been a fan of it because created by Dominic Ropion and it's a really delicious fruity gourmand. It has notes of bergamot, honey, lychee fruit, Turkish rose, tonka beans, vanilla, heliotrope, tolu, sandalwood, ambergris, and musks. Yeah, it does have heliotrope and uh, you know, messy, sexy, 
just rolled out of bed. It also has the heliotropes, but this one does get very fruity in comparison to that one. But I feel like there is a bit of a DNA back and forth between the two. Once again, it's powdery and sweet, gourmand, but really, really delicious. Let's quickly smell it. You probably know about this one if you've been following me, but let me know if you don't know it and let me know what you think of the sound of this particular fragrance. They're actually quite different if you're asking me. Um, the, the, I feel like the tonka beans in this fragrance are much more prominent and stand out than the other, whereas the other one does have a nuttiness. This is kind of bitter almondy. But super yummy, super super yummy. It has that honeyed effect as well. The honey adds that sweet layer, powdery, and then the, the, the rose together with the honey is really a fantastic combo. And then that lychee is providing the fruitiness. So yeah, what we do in Paris is secret is super, super delicious. If you don't know that one, do check it out. And then the last fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about is Paris LA, this one right here. Let me know if you know this particular fragrance. This is created by Laurent Le Gernac and it features notes of key lime, ginger, cola accord, neroli petals, coriander seeds, thyme, macaroon accord, amber, and musk. Do you know this particular one? If you like the idea of Coca-Cola, this is the fragrance you gotta get your nose on. First of all, it's a gourmand, but also very fizzy at the same time. Definitely the Coca-Cola effect is here very, very prominently. Yes, it has a bit of zing and spice from the ginger, and also you do experience the citrus floral touches of the neroli in here. But macaroon accord, yeah, it's kind of doughy, pastry-like, and a bit sweet, maybe a bit fruity as well. And then eventually it dries down to an amber musky fragrance. But it's such a pleasure and fun fragrance to wear. I absolutely love it because when you're wearing it, you're really experiencing the fizziness of the Coca-Cola Accord in this, which is quite fun. This I would consider one of the most fun and playful fragrances in my collection. And that's what I like about it. Plus it's gourmand. But yeah, Coca-Cola, I was a big drinker of Coca-Cola. I haven't drank since, I mean, I drink it every once, once every two or three months, but I was a very, very avid drinker up to about 2001 and I quit after that. But once in a while I'll have one or one or two here and there, uh, but I don't drink it. But this, you know, smelling this kind of takes me back to the days that I was drinking a lot of Coca-Cola, maybe eating some sweets with it. I was much younger, so it's been over 20 years that I've stopped drinking. But yeah, it's a fun fragrance, Paris LA, from what we do is secret. Let me know if you know that fragrance, and let me know if you know the other fragrances, and if you don't know them, if you're curious to find out all about them. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for another video soon. Bye-bye.